Ticket number 12199 is a faulty PlayStation 5 that has a bad HDMI port. You might be looking at this thinking, do you know what? That doesn't look bad at all. It looks absolutely fine. Joey, what are you talking about? Well, my friends, if we head on over to ye old microscope, you can see that there is in fact quite a bit of damage on this port. The right side doesn't look too bad. Some of the pins have come away from the pad. On the left hand side, however, one of those looks extremely pushed back towards the motherboard. So I don't know if that's ripped any traces or anything like that. And you can see the plastic is also not looking that great on those two pins in the middle of your screen right now. So we're gonna have to change out this port. It does turn on and boot into a white light as well. So we know that the PS5 is okay. I'm just gonna take it over to the heater that's behind me to remove the port and then I'll be back over on the scope. Not looking too bad at all if you ask me. However, what we're gonna do is heat up the bottom of this board now and clear out the ground holes that you see, the four of them, one, two, three, four. In order to do this, I'm using the biggest nozzle that I can on my hot air station. The hot air station that I currently have is a quick 861DW. And the temperature is 500 degrees Celsius with an airflow speed of 120. Don't need any flux or anything at this current moment in time. Just gonna wait for the solder to wet in the ground holes. And then we should just simply be able to use our solder sucker, my best friend, to get rid of the solder in the holes. The pads themselves look okay. The capacitor is there and the little diode resistor, etc., is also there, which is good news. I think the one on the left is wetting now. So I'm just gonna try and Scoop that one up. Nope. No movement there just yet. The ones on the left always seem to heat more. Sorry, heat faster than the ones on the right. Try now. Still nada. Not hot enough just yet. There we go, you can see the ones on the right, which were actually first. Good. Let me just get those ones on the left as well. Be careful of the tiny cap here. Wait for it to wet, come on. Now. Steady hands. Nice. Okay, whilst the board is hot, a little bit of flux. Just going to apply solder over these pads. Just some leather solder. Don't have to, there's been plenty of times where I haven't done that. Now take our wick. We've got solder on the end of our wick, so we need to cut it. That is not good, Joey. Should have prepared that before I started. Sometimes it cannot be helped. There we go. And wick up the solder. And be very careful of this little cap. There we go. That will do for now. As you already know, a brief clean isopropyl alcohol and a cotton swab, cotton bud, ear bud, many a name for it. Back on the flux. That good stuff. There we go. Okay, fill up the ground holes first, just with a bunch of leaded solder. Just not taking my solder. There we go, that's better. The more the merrier, honestly. There we go. And then just over on the pads. Just like that, wicked. One final clean. I know it looks a little bit ugly at the moment. Give it a chance. Get rid of any of that flux that we have on there. There we go, perfect.
Okay, now we come back in with the heat and a port, drop it onto the location you see in front of you. And it should be all good to go. Tiny bit of flux. There we go. I say tiny to, a, to some people, that's a lot. We're going to get a fresh port out of the packet. Exactly the same at temp and airspeed as before. We're going to come in now and hopefully fit this port into place and then go over it in a second. We should have a lovely finished product. You can see now the solder starting to wet in the middle, glistening away. One on the left is gone, and then the ones on the right. One, two, there we go. All the way through the board is what we love to see. And now we can just go ahead and pop that port on. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna keep the heat on. It's very important. Because the, the, uh, the port itself is cold, you see. It needs a chance to bond with the solder in the ground holes and on the actual pins. Move it around a little bit. Get it used to its home. There we go. Just holding it down. Perfect. And I'm going to come off in three, two, one. There we go. Going to hold it in place. Keep it held down. And then when we see exactly like we are seeing the solder solidify, I can take this off. And we can now inspect the job to see how we're looking and essentially tidy up where necessary. How did we do today? Yeah, nice. Very, very nice. Get the light in there. There we go. Look at that. Board's at an angle. Nice. All right. So what I'm going to do now, whilst the board is still a little bit hot, come out a little bit further. There we go. Flux, just along here, it's going to melt. And then we're going to come in with our soldering iron and touch up all of these pads to make sure the solder flows over the pin on the HDMI port itself. Just like that. If we have any excess, it will be sorted. Want to have a really good quality finish here. We also want to be careful at the end of this cap, as always. Again, just touch that down. I'm going to get it clean to see how we are there, but I don't know if I'm feeling too confident with this one, if I'm being honest. But we can uh, we can rectify it, no problem at all. Let's give it a nice clean. Lovely jubbly. I can see some really good soldering points, but I can also, I think, see some bad ones that we need to sort out. I could be wrong. Get a little brush here. Okay, let's inspect. Put the port up this way. Just like that. All right, let's zoom out a little bit, shall we? How do we look? Need to get a little bit closer. Okay, it's not horrendous. Everything actually looks attached. I don't think we have any bridges from what I can see. I've burnt a little bit of the plastic over on this side, but again, that's fine. I just want to go over that pin on the end that we can see on the right. If we now just, if I quickly just move the plastic up just to make sure. This is fine singed. It's going to happen, especially when you're trying to not move the cap on the end. You will experience this. Everything looks okay. Nothing looks shorted there, it's all good. Just move this bit out of the way. Yeah, that's fine. And I can't tell if that's a bridge. I think these are bridges down here. Look, see? Yeah, so we just need to go over those. Just make sure that they're okay, but we'll sort those out in a second. And we'll sort that pin out now on the end. We're simply just going to add a tiny bit of flux there. Grab our tiny thin soldering iron and just simply push this down to make sure we have a solid connection with the pin and the pad. I'm just going to hold it there for a while just to make sure that it's hot enough so it's bonded, which I believe it has. Perfect. Okay. And then, like I said about the bridge that we have down here, tiny bit of flux. Soldering iron, and I'm just going to hold it here. See if that gets rid of it first. 
which I think it will. Rotate the board upwards just to make sure. How are we looking? Yeah, bridge on the left is gone and the pin on the right is looking soldered. Good. Now you can see we're looking quite fluxy and if I go to clean it up with a toothbrush now, it's not really going to do much. So hot air gun to melt the flux that we have in the area. Just like so, followed by ice proper alcohol and my cotton swab. Just to get rid of any stubborn flux that we had slash have in the area. There we go. Make sure we get in between those pins if we can with the cotton swab. Try not to leave any hairs or short, sorry, should I say fibers behind? I don't know, it's one of my pet peeves leaving the fibers behind, you know? I think that's just me. Okay, there we go. And then if we look up now, there we go. You can see it looks a lot cleaner. Good. And how our ground looks. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. Nice. Now I'll put it back together and give it a test. And here we are. We have the PS5. We have a white light and you can kind of see me in the reflection. And we have a display on the screen. Good stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.